Is your HVAC system ready for the new season? Seems early, but fall is in the air. Call Premier Heating and Air for a $69 system checkup to ensure your heater is ready for action. If your system needs service or replacing, Premier will provide you with the best options for your situation. Premier Heating and Air offers several services to ensure your home's comfort. Let one of our technicians come out and clean and seal your air duct system. Add attic insulation, clean your dryer vent, or install one of our indoor air quality products to keep your home pleasant. Call today to experience the premier difference. We're here in the second half. We join you. Dublin is up 43 to 7. Austin, what do you want to see out of Dublin here in the second half? I want to see consistency. I want to see exactly what they did in the first half. You know, maybe actually throw some of your backups in. You know, there's no reason to risk your uh, starters in a, in a game like this. I mean, you pretty much dominated until now. And, I mean, this is a team that can obviously make a deep playoff run. So, absolutely they want to stay healthy. Big game going on tonight. Uh, we got Blackley County and Swainsboro. Uh, the winner of that, if Blackley County wins that game, I believe that'll put Dublin right back into the race for the region title. But if Swainsboro wins it, we have a possibility for a three-way tie. Things could go uh, more different. But anyway, we need Dublin to hang on here and win this one for sure. And then we hope to see, like you said, a similar performance. Dublin was dominant on the ground in the first half. Johnson County will start here on offense. Here comes the snap, handoff up the middle. Not much doing. Good defense there on the line from Dublin. Expect maybe a running clock in the fourth quarter if this score keeps going the way it is now. Jefferson County will send two guys out out of the side and running back back there in the backfield with the quarterback. Playing quite a great defense. And they are going to take him down immediately. Did not get anything on that. He got bottled up. Brandon Chapman there on the tackle. So good defense there by Dublin coming out of halftime. Well, my mistake, I thought that was fourth down. It'll be third and 13. Get the Warriors right here. This is not the way you want to start off coming out. You want them to be able to get some momentum going, get something, you know, try and make a couple plays. Obviously, it's very hard. It's a very talented Dublin team, but anything could happen. It's a snap, and they're going to get a Dublin player off sides. So, I mean, Dublin's had a few off sides penalties tonight, especially when. Jefferson comes out in that wildcat, kind of trying to get to the play as quick as they can and jump a little early. So Noah playing cover three defense again. And he's got nowhere to go with that ball. He's going to get wrapped up and take a loss. And that'll bring up fourth down. Big number 53, Drew Rozier, there on the tackle. We've heard that name a few times. So, the Warriors will come out to punt now. So they'll change back to that original punter. Good snap, kick is up. 
And that ball's gonna go out at, the ref will say, the 45 yard line. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break and Dublin will be right back. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. School's back in and we all know what that means. There's ODS. Oh! Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia, but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. The scouts say we can't catch, throw, or run well, but they all agree we sure do sell cars well at Dublin Chevy GMC. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Dublin back here on offense. Two guys split left. Still the handoff will go left to Malachi O'Neal. He's got some room up the middle. Malachi O'Neal has been good on the ground tonight. Another Dublin first down. We got about nine minutes to go now here in the second half. And this is a good thing to see here from the very first play of this drive, from, or from this half from Dublin, excuse me. Just a really good run right there, some good blocks, and like I said, you want to see some consistency right here. So again, Dublin sending two guys out. That's not something they've done often this year. Hand off of the middle. That's going to be number 24, Azante Walker. So another one of those like six running backs Dublin's got. Big man Xavier Bostic will sub in now for the Irish. Motion, hand off up the middle, will go to Bostic. Well, Malachi kept it and then pinched it, and that's going to be a Dublin touchdown. <laughs> Willie Bats there on the touchdown for Dublin. That'll be a Dublin Piggly Wiggly replay. Micah fakes the handoff up the middle, will run out and flip it to Willie Bats, and Willie will get the edge and get the touchdown there for the Irish. Connor Daniel. Now comes on for the extra point. We've been singing his praise all last weekend. Tonight, kick is up and good. So that'll make the score 50 to seven for the Irish. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. How to outsmart the outdoors. Think fast, that needs work, that needs trimming, that needs cleanup, but all that work takes a lot of tools. Lucky for you, that tool, that tool, that one, they're all the same tool. That's smart, super smart. That's the Echo Pro Attachment Series, gas-powered, battery-powered. 16 attachments for hedging, edging, trimming, tilling, cutting, blowing, paddling, yeah, that too. It's outdoor grade, professional grade, commercial grade, which is great for making your yard look like it belongs in a commercial. Echo, power on and on. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We're your full line sales and service dealer for Echo and Shindawa handheld products. We have natural gas all over town. Get yourself a natural gas tank with water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. It's a luxury. We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, city of Dublin natural gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah! Finish the 
drill with natural gas. Call your gas guys. At 478 277-5048. Matt Hatchett, the representative for Orange County, is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Orange Raiders, Matt Hatchett, the representative for Orange County, go team! Hello fans, Ben Knight for Farmer State Bank. Friday night football and Farmer State Bank. As easy as FSB. Dedication, hustle, trust, commitment, and teamwork. Giving our all every day, just as our local football teams do every Friday night. Join us at Farmer State Bank and support your local team. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Doubling up, 50 to 7. It's a little bit under eight minutes left in the third. The Warriors are set to receive this kick. And this kick is off. Pretty good kick right there by uh, the Irish. This ball will be fielded. He's, he's, got, he's making some room, and he finally gets pushed out of bounds in a, about uh, 35, maybe 36. So... And a pretty good field position for the Warriors. Jefferson County gonna have to make something happen quick if they even want a chance in this game. I agree. It's pretty much all but done at this point with this score, but if they strike quickly, there's still a little bit of hope for them. And it's gonna have to be real quickly a couple times. Obviously, Dublin probably has the win right here, but if you're the Warriors, I mean, you still got, I mean, you remember Super Bowl uh, 50, whatever it was for the Falcons and Patriots. It was horrible, so anything could happen. <laughs> 24-3, not quite as bad as 50 to 7, but I like the way you think. Number 20 makes a few spins and he'll gain about four, but there's a flag on that play. I think that one's coming back. Yeah, I agree. I think that was number uh, eight, uh I think it was number 55 on the uh on the war for the Warriors holding. So let's see. Okay, face mask on Dublin. Okay, excuse so me. So that's going to be a 15-yard penalty going the Warriors' way. So we were wrong. Yeah, I was completely off. It was just not good. I guess my eyes deceived me. So here we go. That ball's now at the 46-yard line. Uh, Jefferson County's only been on Dublin's side of the field one time tonight, and that's when they got that touchdown. What I was going to say before the play started, what I was, I was going to say, if the Warriors want to get back in this game, you know, they're going to need a lot more help than just from their offense. Their defense is going to have to create turnovers. Oh, yeah. They're going to have to stay disciplined, not get the uh, hard, uh, easy penalties. And, and they were earlier in this game. It, it seemed like fumble, 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 and that's exactly what it was uh, here in the first quarter of this game. But Melbourne kind of took control and ran away with it now. Remember early on it was 15-7. to 7. Now that score, 50 to 7. We're now under seven minutes to go here in the second half. Uh, possibly a running clock now. I'm not sure. I'll, we'll see on that here as we continue. I believe that play went out of bounds and the clock didn't stop, and I think I noticed it on the play before as well. A penalty, and, and the clock kept running. That ball at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up second and six to go here. Uh, new guy in at quarterback. Maybe a direct snap. And it's going to be a handoff right. Quick. And he's got room to work. Going down the sideline and pushed out at about the 24-yard line. So big run there for the Warriors. It's the first spark they've had since early on in the first quarter tonight. And I don't think it is a running clock because that clock is now stopped at 6.09 left to go. Right there, that was, re that was a really good play call by the uh, off of, uh, coach, excuse me. You know, fake the handoff, or, or not fake the handoff. Give it to your running back, create room on the edge and get a lot of room. Able to tiptoe down the sideline for about 10 extra. Pitch to the left this time. He's got room out there. That boy is quick, and it's going to be a touchdown, Jefferson County. That'll 
that'll make it 50 to 13. So they did strike quickly, Austin, like we mentioned, but they're going to have to do that a bunch more times. And like I said, that defense is going to have to create turnovers Absolutely. if they want to get back in this one. Absolutely. Going to have to play really stingy defense. Maybe get, obviously, like you said, uh, Dublin is more of a running team than a passing team. So that D-line is going to have to break through that double and O-line and create some pressure. Going to have to be some three and outs. Really, any first down at this point is detrimental. Time that you're going to absolutely need if any hope for a comeback. You think if Dublin gets in the end zone one more time, we can write this one off. But, I mean, it ain't over till it's over, so. Absolutely. Got Still got a quarter and a half left to play, so. Okay, so there was a penalty on that play, and that one's going to come back. Oh. So they'll have to retry. It's going to be first and 15, first and 20, rather. Now that is what you call a momentum killer. It's not what you want to see. Uh, they got that same set back there in the backfield. That quarterback they had playing earlier is not on the field anymore. It's going to be a quarterback keeper for number six, and he's going nowhere. Xavier Bosick, along with a couple others, in there on the tackle. Kamari McRae was also in there. Again, I want to remind you, our premier heat and air player of the game right down there on the field as soon as this one is over. Yeah, really good play by uh, Boston there. I don't know if you saw it, Tap, but the way he just got around that, uh, that uh, blocker, he, he just moved his arm. He kind of did a little, little spin move almost on him. Been incredible and, on both sides of the ball. And he just got to the quarterback so quick. Snap that quarterback is back in now. Dublin getting some pressure. It's going to be picked off by Xavier Bostic. He'll head up the right side of the field, still on his feet, and he'll eventually be brought down at the 46 yard line. We can't say this kid's name enough. Huge play by Xavier Bostic. And like we said, the Warriors were going to need that one, and they didn't get it. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back for Dublin's next possession. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. The heat is on at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, and you'll find a great deal on a new set of wheels from SUVs, trucks, cars, you name it. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has it. So come on in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly sales staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com for more information, or just come see us at 606 East Jackson in Dublin. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. The heat is on, and it's time to get a great deal. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands, and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana, last and last and last. We are back. Dublin back here on offense. And I believe it's going to be a false start. Flags from both sides of the field. We're now under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Score remains 50 to 7. So after that interception, this one might as well be over.
Yeah, just like I said, just a key momentum killer for the Warriors. Just you know, you thought you had some really good play right there, and it just and off goes left. That's Malachi O'Neal. He's fast. The ball's out, and I don't know who jumped on that. Let's see. Dublin says them. And if Dublin did land on that, that's going to help him. He was brought down about 10, at about the 30, and that ball fell to about the 20. So if Dublin's got it, be the better. Ball security has been a problem for both teams tonight. But that's going to be a huge game for Dublin. But there is a flag back here on the play. So I, depending on that call, none of that may matter. See what they said. So. Ref will come pick up his flag, I guess. Nothing there, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, Dublin did land on the ball. That's going to give them even better field position, it looks like. And Dublin looking to punch another one here. It is going to be first and 15, though. No, excuse me, first and 10, sorry. Here we go, doubling at the 11-yard line. Got two guys wide right. Pass will go right to Eli Hartwell. He'll gain about four before he's drugged down. So doubling going to the air for the first time, uh, well, the second time in this game. So we got second and four now from the five-yard line. So double has got the chance to get the first down before they get in the end zone, but you think if they get to the one, they're probably getting in. Threatening to make this score even, or this lead rather, even bigger. Eli Hartwell split out wide right. Hand off up the middle, and it's gonna be another Dublin touchdown. This run game has been unstoppable. Jordan Tobridge, they're on the touchdown. Both of the Tolbert brothers uh, making an impact tonight. Yeah, I mean, you got to give credit to their run game. It's been phenomenal really all year. It's been great. But, you know, what really makes this Dublin team good is not just their run game, the offense. Their defense is stingy. I mean, if you've watched some of their games, they usually shut out. Or not shut out, but they, they usually don't allow their opponent to get over 20 points. So you combine that with a good run game, and you got a little mini Georgia. Come on now. Kick is up and good. You know, we, we know he's not going to miss at this point. Absolutely. So here we go, 57-7. to 7. We'll head into a break, and we'll be right back on the other side. I don't just value my customers. I value the community, and, and we actually take our customer service here to the next level, and it's because I am nostalgic of this town. And, and we got a little saying, this is not just a storage facility. It's a personalized storage experience. So we encourage everybody to come on down and take a tour and uh, just see exactly what we're talking about. We have a 50,000 square foot facility so we can accommodate any size move and we're in the Rosa Shopping Center at 102 Hillcrest Parkway and we are an indoor climate controlled storage facility. We have five convenient entry points that include a lean-to canopy that you can get out of the weather if it's raining, no worries, we got you covered. And on the back side of this facility we have a loading dock with a loading dock bay where any box truck or 18-wheeler can pull up to for the bigger moves. We've got storage sizes all the way down from nine by sixes all the way up to 10 by 30. So we can accommodate any size move from clearing out a closet all the way up to a, a big house or office space that you need to move in. So we got you covered. We've got 24 seven security protection and fire alarm protection. We have cameras in and outside of this building. So you're definitely taken care of. We've got rodent control and pest control cover too. We're not gonna just take care of belongings, we're gonna take care of you too. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. In 1965, my grandfather, Merle Williamson, hung our name on this bakery. Ever since then, people have been stopping in for the Williamson's tradition. We invite you to do the same here at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, or catch us on Facebook, or just come get you some. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to me 35 game of the week. Warriors not looking good. <laughs> the, Irish, the Irish really uh, taking a hold of this game. Kick received at about the six yard line. He'll take it up that left side, come back to the right. Looking for something up the middle, nothing doing. Two Irish will meet him right there at about the 22 yard line. And that's where the Warriors drive will begin. Again, doubling up 57 to seven here with 335 left to go in the third quarter. Uh, I'm almost certain they're probably gonna have a running clock in the fourth quarter, but we'll see. Maybe they're still holding on to hope they make it out of this one. With a win, anyway. Absolutely. And I mean, Dublin looks to be getting their uh, second team ready here on the sideline. Yeah, the Irish, they just, they've just looked so good all night. I mean, just defense. I mean, their run game looks basically unstoppable. They just pound it and chop wood. Oh, yeah. So here we go to snap. Toss will go right. And he'll gain about two before he goes out of bounds there. Like I said earlier, this Jefferson County still has a chance to build momentum going into next week here in this game. They're, they're probably not going to win it. Let's be realistic. They're not going to win this one. And uh, so, I mean, now's just a chance to get some good here at the end of this game. That way you can take it into next week. Absolutely. You know, if I'm, uh, if I'm the Warriors right here, I mean, I would really try and, you know, obviously they're going to try and score something, but you really want to have some momentum going into the next game. Guy over the middle, and that's going to be intercepted. That's Xavier Bostic again. His second interception. I believe he's got two rushing touchdowns on the ground. Xavier Bostic has been a problem the last few weeks for opposing teams on either side of the ball. It really has not mattered. I think he should it wow. would be a great candidate for player of the game. And, and he's coming off last week, our player of the game, looking for another chance. Nasir Johnson got in there with pressure. Another underthrow, and uh, Xavier's there. Right place, right time. So Dublin will take the ball back to the 31 yard line. And Jeff Davis leads the squad out this time. Backup quarterback there. Handoff of the middle is going to go to number 24. Azante Walker. So Jeff Davis comes off the field now and Bennett Lake enters. So these are the guys I, I guess you could say still in a battle for that second string, but normally when the, the second team comes in, these guys switch back and forth. Just both getting as many reps as possible. So it looks like the whole first team has come off of the field now. So there is a flag on the field, so let's see what that's about. I think that's going to be a false start from the Irish. So that's going to back him up five. So that's gonna bring up second and eight. Let's see what the Irish can cook up here. They got a guy in man coverage all the way to the left. It's gonna be a handoff. He's got some room on the left. He's got a lot of room, and he's gonna be taken out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Now Kyle O'Neill there. He's had a good game uh, today. Uh, I believe he's got maybe two rushing touchdowns to his name. It feels like everybody who's touched the ball has two rushing touchdowns tonight. Yeah, I mean it's it's just been a. A running touchdown frenzy tonight. Yeah. It's just, it's, I mean, to say the least. Almost certain uh, Xavier Bostic's got up over uh, 600 yards on the season here tonight, probably getting close to 700. What a season it's been for him thus far. Just now under a minute left to go in the third quarter. Jeff Davis out there under center. Hand off of the right. It's going to be a sweep. Trying to make something happen out there, and it'll be pulled out at about the 14-yard line. The fans on this side of the field looking for a, a late hit call, not going to get it. Travion Bostic there on the carry. Yeah. 
I believe that was Azante Walker, rather. Bennett Lake now out there at quarterback. So Dublin, it's third and one, looking to punch one in, or convert at least. It's going to be a handoff. And He's got a left. lot of room to the left. Did a little stutter, tried to create some separation, and could not get anything. Travion Bostic there on the carry. That'll take us. Or, okay, I was wrong on that one again. That was uh, Zante Walker again. But that'll take us to the fourth quarter. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Get yourself a natural gas tank with water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. It's a luxury. We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, City of Dublin Natural Gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah! Finish the drill with natural gas. Call your gas guys. At 478-277-5048. Hey, my name is Chandler Gerard. And I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. And here at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, we support our community. We'd like to wish all our area teams, Dublin, East Lawrence, West Lawrence, Trinity, a great football season. So come see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, 371 Georgia Highway 338 in Dublin, or give us a call, 478-676-2662. Have a great season. We are back. Jeff Davis out there leading the squad now. Like I said, they normally go back and forth. Uh, down here, swap sides of the field now. They are inside the 15-yard line. Ball is at about the, well, I believe it's sitting there right there on the 15. Okay, so I, I judged the field wrong. That's all right. And off of the middle, that's Azante Walker again. He'll gain about three balls and now will be at the seven yard line or so. I don't know if you uh, can hear it, but uh, we got some fans cheering over here. Oh yeah. Young fans here in the crowd tonight. Absolutely. It's Traveled this long journey here to Louisville. Absolutely. Pretty good crowd for a little oh, bit yeah. over an hour drive. Now, hand off a good Azante Walker again. Looked to maybe have the edge, but cut it back inside and gained about two more. So that's going to bring up. No, that's a first down. Is that a first down? I believe so. We'll see here. It looked close. It's definitely close. So they're going to spot it on the five-yard line. And it's going to be fourth of one. So Dylan's going to go for it right here. And there is a flag on the field. Maybe let's see what I did. I saw that far ref signal something. I'm not sure what it was. It is going to be a false start on Dublin, so it'll come back. Bring it back to the team. Second fall start now on this drive. So I'm not really sure how good Dublin's kicker is, but you got to think they would kick the field goal right here, right? I mean, you get backed up five, it's going to be fourth and six, so. I'll tell you, he's good. He's real good? I mean, I, I've, I've not seen him miss an extra point, I know that. So Eli Hart will take the field now. Be 
a pass. Jeff Davis will hang on to it, and he's going to take a big hit at about the 12 yard line. Pretty good there by Jeff Davis to, you know, stay uh, stay composed, keep, keep their eye on the ball and make a play, stop this uh, Dublin offense from scoring anymore. So that's going to be a turnover on Dales. Jefferson County will take the ball now. That clock's still rolling, so it looks like we're maybe going with a, a running clock here. Dublin can start to warm up the buses and we'll ride out of this one with a big win. Second week in a row, they really put it on their opponent. Absolutely, a well-deserved win. I mean, you just basically dominated this game from the second quarter and then on. There's a snap, quarterback will look right back left. He's gonna roll out and sack. Maybe a safety. They'll call him down at the one, or the three, matter of fact. I'm, that, I don't know about that. I do not know about that, but you know, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what the ref's uh, looking at there. I mean, Kamari McCray there on the sack. Quarterback got slowed down and definitely passed the two. I, I myself thought it might have been a safety, but I, uh, either a safety or the one, I thought certainly. So let's, way. let's see what uh, the Warriors come up with. The Wildcat formation here. There's a snap. He bobbled it. And I don't know if he's going to get out of the end zone. He's not. That's going to be a safety. Yeah. That's yeah. a safety for sure. Whoa. That's a safety. Call him down at the one. I'm. The fans over here are not happy and understanding. I mean, he didn't get out of the end zone. I saw him make no contact with the green surface at all. I just don't know about that one. It ain't gonna have too much effect on the on the final here, but still, I mean, yeah, you gotta I be mean, fair. That definitely doesn't. I mean, me and he not caught. Either way, here we go. Third and 22. They got a long way to go. Another chance at a safety. How about that? A snap. Bobbled it. Quarterback's not going to get out of the end zone that time. I, if they don't call that one a safety. So I believe they did call that a safety. That one. I believe so. All right, so the return team will trot out. They will give double that safety, making the score 59 to seven. We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Moen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin with Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard to find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The Irish are set to receive this kick. And this kick is a little line drive. It will be returnable. 
got some pretty good space, a lot of blockers. He got the edge, and he's finally going to get pushed out about the 30. So pretty good field position with the Irish again. Cam Hampton in there on the return. Had a big game on the ground last week. We haven't seen much from him this week. Uh, I don't know what just happened over there. Like a little scuffle, maybe. Look like Cam maybe got tripped up over there. I would probably be a little salty too if I was losing uh, by about seven, eight scores. Running clock, we're uh, about 5.10 left to go. Now here in the fourth. One last reminder about that player of the game right down there on the field after this one. So Tap, if, uh, if, you, if you're a uh, Jeffersonville, if you're the coach right now, you know, what do you tell your team tonight after this game is over with to, you know, try and get some positive, you know, reinforcement for next week? Hey, man, Dublin's a good team. We know that. I've been contenders the last few years. It's been a rough season, man, so you, you got to take all the positives you can. You forced a lot of turnover. Uh, I mean, a uh, pretty good amount of turnovers tonight, so we just got to focus on the positive. That's all you can do. Yeah, well said. So, and off we'll go to the right. Trevion Bostic there on the carry. He'll gain about seven yards. Hand off of the middle. He's got room, and that's going to be a first down and a whole lot more. Nazon Mitchell there on the carry. Probably about the ninth different guy to carry the ball for Dublin tonight. Dublin subbing in some new guys again. goes right needs to be drugged down immediately. That was Travion Bostic again. Uh, good penetration there uh, from Jefferson County. That play will bring us under three minutes to go here in this game. That's yeah, been a rough one for Jefferson County. off up the middle. Not much doing there. Gained about two. So that'll bring a third down and 12 now to go for the Irish. Bennett Lake shots back out there. got a player down and that's liable to take up the rest of the clock. Okay, now they'll stop the clock there for that. So we got a minute 32. We'll take a break and get you the rest of this game and then we'll have our premier heat and air player of the game. School's back in and we all know what that means. Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. Now's the time to get a great deal on the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience. Professional grade mowers, 
Durable Sidekick Utility Vehicles, and versatile compact tractors. It's the equipment you need to take care of your land. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% 0 APR for up to 60 months, plus save up to $800. Your Kubota dealer is Mid-State Tractor and Equipment, 1325 North Jefferson, Dublin. We are back. So Connor Daniel getting ready to kick his first field goal of the night. He's been good kicking this year. We've got a minute 20 to go. So Snap, this. old kick is up and good. So that will make your score now 62 to 7. Dublin with a huge lead and we'll come out of this one with the win tonight. Again, one last time, I want to remind you, we'll have our premier heating and air player of the game right down there on the field. Stay with us. We're back here. Connor Daniel, ready for the kickoff. We got a minute seven. He'll return that kick at the two. He is quick, man. Looks like he stumbled there at about the... 16, fell four to about the 20. Yeah, absolutely right, Ty. He is quick. I mean, a guy like that, you know, you give him a little bit of room to run, he can lob up, make a man miss, and take it all the way back to the house. So they may run one play. In my personal opinion, in my personal opinion, I think you should just throw the helmet. It's probably going to be the last play. They fumbled it. Going to run out left, trying to make something happen. And he's got him. Wow. So the last play they're going to get here is going to be a touchdown. And that ain't, I mean, it's not going to change anything, but it's just aggravating. And like I said, want a little bit, a little bit of momentum going into the next week. And there you go. And that'll be the last play of the game. Final score is going to be 62 to 13 Dublin. We'll see you down on the field for our player of the game. Seems early, but before you know it, you'll be firing up that heater. Is your system ready for winter? Let Premier Heating and Air check it out. For just $69, our trained professionals will come out and inspect your heater and duct system to ensure it's ready for that first cold morning. Call Premier for up to $1,500 in rebates on your new heating system. Also qualify for a $2,000 tax credit on new units installed in 2023. Call today to experience the Premier difference. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Malachi O'Neal for the player of the game. We had two rushing touchdowns tonight, some great plays on defense. Man, what's it like being able to play both sides of the ball like that man, and make an impact? It's amazing, man. It's just, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. I'm thankful for my teammates. I couldn't do this without my teammates. I'm thankful for God, for my family, and it was just an amazing team. Man. Yes, sir. So we want to present you with the Premier Heat in there, player of the game trophy. So, uh, you know, just just being so dominant tonight in the running attack, um, how are you feeling uh, going into next week, uh, just being 6-2 and two and just having a, just a good game? Uh, I definitely feel confident, but, you know, you never, can, you never can judge a team by how they look, by their record. So, you know, we just come into work Monday and just get better every week. Yes, Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our TV35 Premier Heat and Air Player of the Game, Mr. Malachi O'Neal.